It's here that companies like Solyndra are leading the way. The Recovery Act is helping to create long-term manufacturing jobs that will help ensure America's leadership for the 21st century. So what we do in this whole factory is we take glass tubing and we turn them into solar cells. You know, look at Solyndra, unlimited money. Just throw money and throw money at Solyndra. It doesn't matter if it works or not. It's crony capitalism. They don't have near the same concerns. And the Solyndra story is from CBS San Francisco. After filing for bankruptcy last year, Fremont Solar Company Solyndra still owes American taxpayers half a billion dollars. But Channel 5 San Francisco caught them destroying millions of dollars worth of parts. Good evening, I'm Ken Bastido. I'm Dana King. Tonight, a CBS 5 exclusive. Remember Solyndra, the failed solar company in Fremont? Well, Solyndra still owes American taxpayers half a billion dollars, but we caught them destroying millions of dollars worth of parts. Elizabeth Cook with the video you'll see only on CBS 5. Well, Solyndra will put its assets up for sale again next month, at least the assets they haven't yet destroyed. Look at what we found last week. At Solyndra's sprawling complex in Fremont, workers in white jumpsuits unwrap brand new glass tubes used in solar panels. They are the latest, most cutting edge solar technology, and they're being tossed into dumpsters. Forklifts bring one pallet after another piled high with the carefully packaged glass. Slowly but surely, it all ends up shattered. We're not talking a few loads. Hundreds of thousands of tubes on shrink-wrapped pallets will meet a similar demise. Solyndra paid at least $2 million for the specialized glass. We found this piece lying in the parking lot, and Solyndra still owes the German company that made these another $8 million. So why would a bankrupt company that owes a fortune to creditors, including U.S. taxpayers, be throwing away millions of dollars worth of assets? And they're throwing the stuff away with the imprimatur of Obama, with the approval of Obama. Just throw it away. It doesn't matter, even though they owe the money. They're in bankruptcy. They've got to pay things back. They're throwing the stuff away. Nothing like that could happen in the private sector.